Hello, how's it going? If you want custom theming for literally any website, this is the way to do it. This is Stylus and it is a user uh, styles manager and editor. It's a web extension. You can get it for anything Chrome based or anything Firefox based, uh, use Firefox based. Um, and I want to go over it because it actually does a lot more than just making my GitHub look Grovebox themed. Um, it's very simple to use actually. If all you want is just color schemes, you can just go find styles here and just click to install. Like literally, boom, one click install. Um, I actually had Grovebox enabled. So they, they stack, which is kind of cool. So you could stack them up and you know see what you can get. But um, yeah, one click install, one click uninstall. You can also get UI changes. So if I wanted GitHub wide here, I can get wide GitHub. Uh, perfect. Uh, this actually really shines on a site like YouTube, which um, by default, there's definitely things about the YouTube UI that I don't really like. So um, right now I've got a uh, Grovebox theme on it and a YouTube small thumbnail. So if I uh, disable that, big thumbnails, small thumbnails. I could actually disable both of these and go with this styled V2 theme, which cleans up YouTube quite a bit. That uh, sidebar is gone and everything's, you know, boxed off, very nice and minimal. So this is a pretty cool theme. And of course I could go find styles and look for whatever I wanted. And if you're, you know, racing around a specific color palette, chances are you'll be able to find that. You know, if I wanted a like YouTube Nord theme, yeah, boom, YouTube Nord theme. Uh, you can actually sort by date or filter out specific dates as well, which for something like YouTube is pretty helpful just cause YouTube changes their UI like constantly. So something from 2019 might not work in 2024. Um, but of course you can also get, you know, all sorts of random stuff like Nyan Cat progress bar. Um, that's actually, that's kind of a classic. Sorry, I'm not meaning to laugh at Nyan Cat. Nyan Cat's great. Um, but anyways, yeah, all sorts of different styles you can get, but that is sort of just scratching the surface because this actually not only has per site styles, it has global styles. So if I go to the addon.com page, this is a uh, Grove box, but it's my global grove box dark everywhere. So um, that by default tries to apply to all sites, but I actually have it disabled on YouTube in, in particular, just cause I don't like the look of it on YouTube. I think um, kind of doesn't really look great on YouTube. So you can just disable it on a specific website, but still have it globally applicable if you want that. Um, and this is pretty cool cause I could actually just go click this edit button and boom, Stylus has a built in editor with live previewing, uh, with all sorts of nice features too. And I could go through, you know, if I wanted to just make some like quick color changes to the scrub box theme or something super simple to do that. Um, even if you like don't know CSS at all, you can literally just go through and swap out colors. Like it's genuinely that simple to do. Um, yeah, live previewing. So you can just, you know, open the tab you're looking at in like a new window and keep an eye on it. You don't have to refresh it or anything. Um, you've got code beautification. You've got all sorts of editor settings, pretty much what you would expect in terms of editor settings, you know, word wrapping and stuff. Um, you can actually set up custom key maps. So that's cool. You could have a Vim mode or Emacs mode or I don't know, other stuff too, but that's, that's actually pretty cool. Um, you can even set the theme of the editor, which like is, it's kind of random to be honest, but I, I get it. I mean, it's an extension for theming, right? So I, I guess... You know, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, oh yeah, nice little cheat sheet on the Vim, the Vim key binds there. Nice, so that's cool. Um, you can change this CSS linter. So that's useful if you prefer, you know, CSS lint versus style lint. Um, you can set style settings for the style you're working on, whether you're writing your own or you're modifying one. And that's actually pretty useful because you can set a dark or light mode preference. Um, so that essentially, if I go into the settings for stylus here, um, there's dark light mode and I can toggle them on at a specific time. So if I have like a dark mode for YouTube, like, uh, I don't know, say I mark this, uh, Grove box for YouTube as my dark mode on YouTube. And then, uh, oops, I mark, you know, Grove box for GitHub as my dark mode on GitHub. And then I have like a bunch of random sites with, uh, different dark modes that I want them to all go on at the same time. What tab was I on this one? Um, and I can have them all go on this at the same time and then light mode go all on at the same time. So that's pretty useful. Um, you can customize the toolbar icon for stylus here if you want to do that. Um, I mean, <laughs> cool. Uh, all sorts of other, you know, self-explanatory settings pretty much and self-explanatory management page for your stylus. You can, you know, see what you have installed, see what URLs it's applicable to, see what's enabled versus not currently enabled. Um, you can actually back up, so export and import styles. And that's pretty useful because there used to be an extension called stylish, uh, which I 100% would not recommend because that was not a good extension. Um, it was very privacy invasive, which is why stylus, uh, 
distinct from stylish is here now because stylus is doing its best to be privacy respecting and um obviously it's completely you know open source so you can go through and read it but their you know main goal was being a privacy respecting version of stylish but um long story short if you ever used stylish you can export all of your styles and import to stylus so um that is pretty useful um but back to editing and creating your own styles even if you don't have much knowledge of CSS, you can probably manage to write your own styles. Um, there's actually multiple guides on it from the stylus wiki here, and I will link up both the writing styles and the writing user CSS guides in the description. Um, honestly, I have faith that even, like it says you you need a working knowledge of HTML and CSS. Um, I think you really need like the bare minimal knowledge to be honest, just cause, um, and I'm saying this cause I have the bare minimal knowledge. Like I barely know HTML and CSS and I was able to kind of write a Grovebox theme for the arch wiki um it's not perfect but uh i sort of just kind of messed around with it and was able to get it working css is like one of those languages that it's like even if you don't really know it you can kind of figure out how it works right um so yeah it's honestly if you're just trying to write a theme for like a random site and you've never done anything with css before i have faith that between you know like this guide and Googling, and uh, actually don't use Google, use something else, but uh, I'm using Googling as uh, metaphorically here. But anyways, between all of that, you could probably, you know, figure out what you're doing. But uh, the easier way to do it, rather than going from scratch, because going from scratch, you're gonna try to use like inspect element and essentially go for elements on the page and figure out, you know, what you're trying to change. But the easier way is to just go find styles and then just modify colors on styles. So um, the reason I went for growth box on our Twiki here is I couldn't find a growth box theme. I mean, maybe I'm blind, but yeah, I couldn't find one. So I wanted a growth box theme, but the easier way to do it would just be like modify an existing theme. So yeah, just go into something that exists and just change all the colors on it. Um, and of course, if you write your own custom theme, you can then publish that theme. Uh, it publishes to userstyles.world, which um, I had that open, yeah. So this is actually a site for browsing themes. If you prefer to browse on a site rather than this uh, convenient little find styles here, um, userstyles.world is a great site. So you can look for styles there and also publish styles if you write a style for a site that you wanna share. But um, yeah, you can, uh, where was I? All of these tabs look the same, man. Um, you can publish your style if you've written a style and you want to share it. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to go over in this uh, editor here. There's actually just so much stuff in it. Oh yeah, the URLs on the domain. So for example, um, I put archlinux.org. It should really be wiki.archlinux.org um, since I wanted to do for specifically the arch wiki. So URLs on the domain is just going to be any URLs that are like, for example, this is the... Uh, kernel modules page, but that's still on the wiki.archlinux.org domain there. Um, you could also just do a specific URL or all URLs. Um, you can also use regex if you want to use regex. I don't really, I can't really think of a use case off the top of my head, but I'm sure there is one. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think this is pretty much what I wanted to go over. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely a great tool for any sort of color schemes. Um, have at it with the racing. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace.